What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix packet loss when playing Fortnite Creative on your Windows 10 PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below, including a guide with further information. First, open up the game and navigate to your game settings. Here, make sure to change your matchmaking region. I suggest to quickly rotate through every region as it could, depending on where you live, have a lot of impact on your connection to the Fortnite servers. When this is done, make sure to account for any VPN service which could be running on your system, or turn off your VPN while in-game. Before making any tweaks on your system, I'd recommend to verify the Fortnite and Epic Games server status. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. On this page you can verify if the online services and matchmaking servers are operational. Any past incidents will be listed below. On the second link, you can preview hourly reports for server issues, which can help you figure out if the issue is caused by the game's server or if it's on your end. Below, you can preview the live outage map to see where the problem is coming from. In case the servers in your area seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system or to the game files. Make sure that your game files are complete and up to date. In your Epic Games library, click on this menu icon for Fortnite. Here, select Verify. This will take a minute to re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files. In case the issue is related to your own network connection, then make sure to test your connection by visiting speedtest.net. A normal up and download speed without interruption is important to have a stable gaming experience, especially your ping should remain below 100 milliseconds. Make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. When this is done, open up your task manager by right-clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, navigate to your resource monitor, as you can see in the video. In the Network tab, open up the processes with network activity, and after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command can in some cases fix network related issues with Fortnite. In case you still have latency and lag issues, then you should verify your connection to your ISP and make sure that you are using a decent data plan. You can troubleshoot this step by switching your connection to your personal hotspot for example. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case the issue is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box enter Control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center and here select your connection. This will open up this window, containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to Properties and lastly, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS Server Addresses option and as your preferred DNS server, use 8888 and as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. This will for a lot of users fix server issues, as these are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. Lastly, 
in case you still have network related issues, then you most likely have software running on your system which is hindering you from playing the game. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your files or use up your available resources such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner or Adobe applications to troubleshoot which program is causing the issue. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.